Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our perfume bottle box. It's kind of like a handbag too. It's really cool. And we've got all of my pieces cut out, as should you. We're gonna begin by doing a little bit of paper piecing, getting some things in place and ready to go. And the assembly of this thing is actually very simple. Um, so it's gonna be fun. Uh, let's jump right in here. The little label on the front, since it's kind of like a perfume bottle, we opted to go with, um, well, number one forever mom. And so this caption is made up of these three pieces here, okay? And we're gonna take this white piece and we're gonna glue it down to the black solid piece here. So let's do that first. Okay. All right, and then next we're gonna take this piece and this piece is gonna go right over like so. You just wanna make sure that it's nice and centered so that these little cutouts here match up with the O, the R, the O up here, the R there, and the O down at the bottom. Okay, so it's just a, a very simple way of creating this little caption that features a lot of, uh, well, especially the letters that have the little cutouts instead of having to manually glue down all of these little pieces, devised a way to make it a one, two, three step process. Okay, so now I'm noticing here, once I get this on here, that I do have, since I have a white layer in the center, uh, a little bit of that white is showing around the perimeter, and that's okay, I guess. If you don't mind it, that's fine. What you could do is take a little black ink and just run it across the sides just to kind of hide it and blend this a little bit better. I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal, um, but you know, something to consider. And then also we have one more layer to put this on and it's gonna go right on the center of this gold layer like this. And you know, I am just gonna go ahead and hit the corner of this and blend it a little bit. It might not blend completely, but at least we'll get it blended a little bit. So I'm just literally taking my ink pad, not even using my applicator, going straight from the ink pad and just hitting the, hitting the very edge of all the sides to blend that in a little bit so the white is not so pronounced. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll take this entire piece here, apply some glue to the back of it, and we're gonna glue this down nice and centered on our gold piece here. Okay, just make sure you have a nice even border all the way around. And there we go, just like that. Let me make sure this is nice and straight, nice even border, press that down so that it's making good contact all the way around since this is gonna be mostly the, the main focal point of our little box. There we go, okay. So we can put that off to the side for now. That's good, good to go. And let's take a look at some of the various pieces here. Now we have two pieces that look like this and you'll notice that they're labeled. We have one that says F and one that says B front and back, okay? This is actually gonna be important because you can see on the B part, the back part, we have these little slits here, okay? And that's gonna be important and I'll, I'll show you why in just a little bit. Now, one thing we can do right now while everything is flat is grab these two large pieces, okay? And you'll also notice that on one of these, you have a letter B on here and that's B for back. And you want that right side up so you can actually read it because we do have little markers here to help you with the positioning of the little latch that we're gonna be installing later on, okay? But for now, again, we'll take the one with the B on it and apply it to the piece here that has the B on it. And we also have little markers here 
uh, actually just at the top to help you with the placement of this piece. Make sure that your B is right side up, okay, because those markers are going to come in handy when we get to that point. Okay, let's get that in place. You got to make sure you're using those markers to your advantage. Now this paper, this beautiful paper, I uh, don't remember offhand what brand it is. It might be, oh boy, it's not Cartabella. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting what it is, but that's okay. <clears throat> okay, so we've got that one in place. Um, we're going to put the other ones in place once we get the actual boxes constructed, but we can definitely put the front one on. And I'm going to make sure that I keep the flowers right side up instead of pointing down, just like on the other one. So let's just get that in place. And then we can construct the box, which is very simple. This whole project is actually pretty straightforward. And there's not that many pieces either. And you only need to pick one pattern. How about that? So it's going to be very easy to, to put together. And it's, I'm sure it's going to be very popular amongst the ladies and you can use this for a variety of things just because this caption says number one forever mom obviously you can put whatever you want on here you can make your own little design use your own lettering whatever you want to do okay so that looks pretty good all right so now let's take a look here and you can see that the construction of this is pretty simple uh, we're going to begin by just applying glue to one of the tabs here We'll do this one. And we can take that glue, spread it out to the very edge of the tab. Okay, and then bring it in and press that tab up against the inside of the neighboring wall. Make sure you get it nice and lined up as accurately as possible. You can put that down on your surface too and press down from the inside. Just like that, and then moving right along, go over to the next side. Actually, you know what, let's do this side first. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. And line that up. Press and hold. Put that down on your surface, press down. And we've also uh, included these pieces here, which are going to go on the inside to hide the tabs and also reinforce the sides, make them nice and strong. Okay, just make sure that everything is nice and seamless and connected well. Okay, now we're going to go over here to this side and we'll get one of these tabs in place real quick like so. There we go. Bring that in, line it up, press and hold. There we go. Now to really get into the little nooks and crannies in the corner here, since your finger can't really get in there, you can use a little dowel to help you and that's fine. Okay, and that just leaves one more tab here. You're going to have to kind of get that nozzle in there. And it's going to be a little bit more difficult to spread that with your finger. So grab a few pieces of scrap paper and then you can just kind of take it and paint it out with a piece of scrap paper. And then that way you don't risk yanking at this thing and pulling it apart. Okay, there we go. Line that up as accurately as you can. Let's put that down on our surface and press down on the whole tab. Make sure it's making good contact, nice and even. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so now before we do anything else, we take these, just move them, move these side ones out of the way. Okay, what we're going to do, these little guys here, there's four of them. Just need two for now. I'm going to take and glue those to the inside here along the side like that. And again, that's going to, that's going to clean it off, uh, hide the tabs, and make it a little more sturdy, which is our main objective here. So let's get the glue flowing on this piece. 
like that. And you can put this, you can prop this up, standing up like that. And just pop that right in, push it up against the very back as far as it'll go. And then press down. There we go. Let's make sure this closes still, it does. Okay, and we'll do the same thing on this side here. Just pop that right in there. And just pop that right in. I'm pushing it back as far as it'll go. So it's making contact with the very back of this on the inside, obviously. There we go. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these little pieces here, this guy, okay, and we're going to glue this on there just to kind of clean it off and close it off nicely. But we're going to anchor it on one side first. And typically, I would do a longer side, so maybe do that with the uh, other half, but it's okay. Not a big deal. And get that nice and lined up and centered. Make sure it's going right out to the very edge of this tab. Like that, and press it down like you're making the edge of a pie crust. There we go. Just make sure that's sitting nice and flush. Then we can take this, move it out of the way very gently, and we're going to apply glue to the remaining three tabs and then get this closed up. Okay, so I'm just going to do a thick line of glue instead of a little, instead of the curly cue because that does take a little more time and I don't want to run out of time. Uh, what I mean is I don't want the glue to dry before I get a chance to bring this down. And the consistency, I can feel it with my fingers, perfect. So we shouldn't have any problems here. I'll go ahead and close this up, bring this down, and focus on getting it lined up here on the other end first. You might need to kind of pull it towards you ever so slightly and gently, and then you might need to take and nudge the walls in a little bit on either side. And then just press that down up against that, that tab. There we go. Just like that. And if for some reason there's a little area that maybe isn't sitting completely flush, we can always go in and using our little painting method, we can just clean that up by applying glue in those strategic little areas, but so far so good. The consistency of my glue was spot on and it looks like pretty much every little area grabbed nicely. Okay, so that is looking good. All right, okay, so again, um, this is, which part is this now? All right, this is our front. Okay, uh, let me see here. That's our back. So this is our front. Okay, uh, and what we can do at this point, you'll notice that we have some pieces that look like this. Okay, and we have some pieces that look like this. Okay, these are going to go, these two, these are all the same. Okay, there's four of them that look like this. These are all identical. We just need to take two for this box, two for the other box, okay? And there's also a top, and you'll notice these are very similar with the exception of this one having these little notches cut out. So this is gonna be for the back, and this is gonna be for this one here, okay? So let's get those in place. Two of them are gonna go on the side like this. They're gonna be glued down just like this, and they're gonna go flush up against the inside where the opening is. So we should have an even border on basically three sides. And then we've got a piece of trim that's gonna go on top of that, like so. So this one's going here, this one's going here, and then this one is gonna go on top, okay? And we just need to make sure that we don't have this mixed up right now. So that's gonna, this is right side up, so this is the top. And we want this piece going in like this. So the trim's gonna be in the center where the two boxes um, join together, but I'll go through that. Not a big deal. All right, so we'll grab this piece, and again, this little the part of this 
that has that little ex that little notch that kind of extends past the um, this little guy here. This little notch. You want that facing the opening of the box. Okay, make sure that's nice and flush. That looks good. Wonderful. You can actually put that down on your surface and press on the inside too, if necessary. There we go. And then grab a long piece of trim. And it's going to go right on here. Again, we want to make sure that we keep that flush with right here. Okay, so it's going to go right up to the very edge of that. So let's go ahead and apply our glue to that. Now I did actually take this and uh, the gold foil ran this through my embossing machine. So very gently, very carefully, get that right on top of that little elongated section of this pattern. Press that down again, making sure that's nice and flush. Right there, you can feel that with your finger. Beautiful. Wonderful. Okay, cool. That's exactly how you want it to look. Okay, now we're going to go over to the other side and do the same thing. I'm going to get this installed. And again, this little section here with the notch, you want that flush with the side that has the opening for the, the box. Okay, so let's glue that in place. There we go. Again, make sure it's nice and flush with the surface here. Nice and centered. There we go. Press that down into place. You can put that on your surface to push down so you don't accidentally destroy it. That feels good. Okay. Again, take one of these long pieces of trim and it's going to get glued right on that, that top section there flush with the opening. Just applying my glue here. I don't know if I'm doing it off camera. It might be. And there we go. Wonderful. Again, make sure that's nice and flush. And scoot that down just a tad. Actually, that looks fine. Okay, so we have the back and the two sides all in place. Now all that's left for this section is to put on the top and we have this piece. Now remember, do not use the piece with the little notches cut out. That's going to be for the back of the box. So this one's going to go right here. Okay, Just like we did the two sides, this one's going to go flush right on top. And we're going to add our little piece of trim. Nice and easy. Okay, just make sure that you are putting it on top. If you have a pattern, a pattern paper of some sort where you need or you want the uh, the actual design facing the correct direction, you don't want it upside down, obviously. Okay, that looks great. Nice and flush with the fronts. And then you'll also notice that on these trim pieces, we have two of them that are longer. It's going to go over there. And then we have two like this, and this one has a little notch cut out of it. So that's going to go for the back of the box. But this one is going to go right here, just like that. Okay, so let's apply our glue, get that in place. And we've got one half of the box pretty much complete. We'll put the other half together in the same manner. It's going to be pretty much the same process, minus, of course, the, the top part that has the little notches cut out. So that we can add our little chain at the end. Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right, looks great. All right. Okay, so that's done. Put that off to the side and we'll grab the other half of the box. Move that out of the way. And just like we assembled the first one, we'll do the same thing here. And we'll begin by applying our glue to one of these tabs. 
So since this is going to be pretty much a repeat of the last section, you'll be pretty familiar with how this goes together. But anyway, so my mom came and visited for uh, about a week. She actually just left last night. Had a great time. Tell that the the grandmother grandson bond it was a beautiful thing. You can tell she really adores our little Peyton, who actually is turning five months already today, which is crazy to think. It's already been that long, and boy, he's uh, <laughs> he's a character. He's funny. I just cannot wait to hear him say his first words. Uh, he's already kind of babbling a little bit. And he loves, 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 loves. Maybe it's our fault because maybe it was the first thing that came on on the TV. We were trying to do something in the kitchen. We're like, well, maybe he'll, maybe we can keep him occupied. But he loves watching the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. <clears throat> And that theme song at the beginning uh, goes round and round in my head pretty much 24 hours a day now. But boy, when he when he hears it, he can be doing something else. And I'll, I'll put it on the TV when he hears it. He just turns around immediately and he's already like, wow, it's Mickey. So we got a big Mickey fan already, which is very cute. He's rolling around. And it looks like he's almost ready to kind of crawl. So putting this, uh, just gluing these tabs together, just like we did the first time. Nothing different here. Looks like he's getting ready to crawl pretty soon, I'd say. We got this thing called a Jolly Jumper. And I think I posted a few pictures on my personal Facebook. It's a little harness. And you kind of prop it up against the door, or on the, uh, the trim above, like a door. It kind of holds it in place, and he loves bouncing on that thing. He's getting really good at it, actually. So, but yeah, the the time is moving really quick with him. It's crazy. Okay, here we go. All right, so just like we did the first time, while we have this uh, partially constructed, can move these out of the way. We'll grab these two pieces and get those glued inside on the long long sides here just to reinforce and hide those tabs make it look really pretty inside okay there we go pop that right in there push it back as far as it'll go make sure it's centered and you can press down if you can't get in the corner there just use a little dowel or something to help you there we go Beautiful. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been crazy. I just uh, posted on Facebook just a few moments ago because people were wondering if there's a new bundle today, and uh, yes, we're putting that out. Also, let everyone know that. Um, <laughs> well, you guys warned me. You said that you're gonna you're gonna lose some sleep, and boy, you know I'm usually go 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 go. It's just my personality, uh, but yeah, it's tough when you wake up two, three times in the middle of the night when she was at work having to feed the baby, and uh, I am not blessed with a, a certain part of the anatomy that makes that process easier, so uh, it takes a little bit of a toll on the dad, which is why Liesl and I discussed her staying home. And I'm glad that she is, she's loving it. Well, she hasn't, she's not doing it yet, but just a matter of time. Okay, so just like we did the last time here, we're gonna cover this up with this little trim piece. Um, this time, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna start with one of the longer ends. Just apply your glue to one of these tabs so we can get it nice and anchored so that it literally just falls into place when we glue it to the other three. Make sure it's nice and centered, right out to the very edge. Give that a good press. And then you can kind of lift it up and press the rest of the tab up against the inside of this piece. So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm a little tired, guys, I'll be honest. And then, uh, you know, we had uh, uh, 
our art director of seven years um, decided it was time to move on to other things and uh, so that's been a little bit of a whirlwind but Diana as you can see is doing a wonderful job thanks to all the stuff that you know that he taught her and I hope we're doing him proud and I hope he's doing well and I know he's been playing with ceramics lately going back and doing some of the stuff that he had to kind of put away for quite some time because of all the time he spent making beautiful things for Dreaming Tree, which we're all super thankful for. Okay, so we're spreading that glue out all the way to the very edge of each of these tabs, bring this down. Let's focus on getting this side down and aligned, nice and flush out to the edge. And then let's get these other two sides down like so. And then you just go around and just press those into place for making a decorative pie crust. And let's make sure that everything is sitting nice and flush. Looks good. Take another look. Go all the way around and just make sure that everything looks good. And it does. Okay. Wonderful. So now while we have this in this situation here, uh, I think it might be a good time, and yeah, we do need to do this now. We're going to take and put together uh, the little holders where the chain's going to go. And you can see here we have a series of little slits, and we have a total of four of these. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to glue these back to back, but we're not going to glue the tabs together. So you can see that there's a series of tabs here. All we want to do is just glue the actual, uh, it looks like a letter D. We're going to glue those back to back. Okay, so just line that up. You can actually flatten this out just to help you with alignment. But again, there's no glue on this bottom part, not yet. But look at get that glued in place, like so. Make sure it's nice and aligned. We'll let that set. We'll do the same thing with this one. Let's fold those tabs over. Apply glue to one side on the inside. We also have some decorative gold foil that's going to go on top of that as well. Just hold on for just one minute here. We'll get to that in a second. Get these aligned first. Let's spread those out. Give that a quick little press. There we go. And let's find the gold parts of this. Okay, and what we're going to do is just glue one of these to each side, like so. Okay, we'll flip it over and do it uh, to the other side as well. So we'll go ahead and just throw a little bit of glue on this gold foil piece. You might be using, you might not be using gold foil. Probably are actually though. This gold and pink combination is going to look wonderful once everything's done, especially with the black on there. Ooh. So funny little story. Um, when we were deciding what to make for this bundle. Diana pitched the idea of a little handbag that is kind of shaped like a little purse. Or I'm sorry, a perfume bottle. And, uh, well, needless to say, I am, I don't collect purses. I don't have a purse. Purses are not really my thing, so I wasn't sure. So I needed the advice of someone that likes purses. And uh, Liesl is more of a, more of a uh, tomboy, which I appreciate because we're we're very competitive together. I have a lot of fun doing competitive things, and that's I think what I love about her. One thing I love about her, anyway. But um, so I was like, well, who am I going to ask? And <laughs> my mom's been a huge part of of everything in my life, obviously, and um, she's often one of the first people to see. You know the projects we're working on and I kind of just said hey mom what do you think what do you think of this and um, yeah the result the, the, the response from her over Facebook Messenger contained a few expletives which usually is an indicator that she really likes something so needless to say you can have you have my mom to thank for bringing this to life because like I said I I don't know anything about purses 
Okay. All right. So we've got these two pieces now put together. What we're going to do is we're going to slide them, slide the little tabs through the slits, and we're going to take and glue the two tabs. One is going to go on this surface here, and one is going to get glued to the underside of this. Okay. So you can kind of um, just kind of move it so you can apply glue to this side of the tab here. Okay, and I'm going to use a little hibachi stick so I can illustrate this without my fingers getting in the way. So I have glue there, and I'm going to take it and fold it up against, what, there you go. There's glue on that surface. I'm going to take it and fold it up against this surface here on the inside. And just give that a press. And then the other tab, the other half, I'm going to throw a little bit of glue on that. Give me one second here. It's kind of hard to show you that. And then we'll take and press that down up against this surface. Okay, once that is glued into place on both sides, you can take it and prop it up. And that's eventually, when you put your little chain through that, that's what's going to hold it in place. So we're going to repeat that process one more time here. We'll slide that through. And again, apply glue to this section here on the outside. And we'll take it and press it up against this, the inside of this piece, and press and hold that in place just for a few seconds. And then we'll put some glue on the other half. Just a little dot will do. And we'll take that and press that up against this surface. And just press and hold that for just a few moments, just like that. And there you have, there you have it. Okay. So now what's left to do here is we need to well, we need to apply our little panels. Those are going to go on next. So of course we have the two that go on the side. Okay, so one's going to go here, just like the other side. So let's get that going. And then we'll have the two sides constructed, and then it's just a matter of putting the little latch together for the top, which has that little perfume bottle topper. Okay, so again, make sure that this is nice and flush. And the longer part of this is on the side where the opening is for the box. Press that down, make sure it's making good contact throughout. There we go. And don't forget your little piece of trim. Put a little glue on there. All the way out to the very edge. And again, making sure that that's completely flush with the face of the opening of the box. Press that down. Beautiful. Okay, so that side's done. We'll go over to the other side, same thing. Get that applied. So I kind of lost my train of thought here, but anyway, uh, yeah, I've been a zombie, been tired. Um, so much so that I just went to see a doctor just to make sure everything was okay with me. The only thing wrong really is uh, my cortisol levels are down, which is usually an indicator of lack of sleep and just being kind of tired. But again, you got to do what's best for everyone. And I think her staying home is going to be wonderful for her. She didn't get to do that with her last two kids. She was actually in school and working and raising them. Um, I don't know how heck she did that, but so this time around, she gets to really enjoy being a mom, which is kind of an elusive thing these days. So I'm happy to be able to provide that for her. She's a wonderful mother. Okay, so that's in place and now uh, we just need to put the top part on, okay, and same thing. Now you notice that this should fit perfectly with the little slits that we have there. Beautifully engineered. I don't even know how Diana does some of the stuff that she does. So I mean, even when you know, even when Ron was doing all the designing of the products, Diana still had to. Not always, but most of the, I'd say 90% of the time, 
take his sketches and figure out how to bring it to life as far as the engineering goes, which I think is miraculous. The way she does it with the level of precision that she does it is quite an amazing feat. All right, so that's in place. And now finally we have this last little piece of trim that we need to apply. Get that glue on there, make sure you get it all the way out to the very edges. And just kind of bring it back, make sure you're hugging the other, or these little, uh, these little loops here. Just make sure that they're in the exact spot where they need to be. And there we have it. <clears throat> okay, wonderful. So next, um, let me see what we're going to do next here. Let's take a look at how these come together. Beautiful. That looks great. Okay. Now, ultimately, what we're going to do is we're going to use this piece down here to join these together, to keep them together, so that it kind of opens up like that. Um, we'll do that in just a moment. But first, we need to assemble the little topper that's going to go on top of the perfume bottle. I've already pre-folded some of these pieces, but before we actually assemble this, we may as well take some time and apply the little panels that are going to go on top of it while everything is flat. It's just a lot easier to work that way. Okay, and we're going to start here with this piece. It's going to go right in the center. You're going to have a little bit of a border around each of these pieces. Let's say about an eighth of an inch. Okay, just get your glue on there. And this is a foil. So it's very slippery on the back. It's not very uh, porous. It may take a few extra moments for everything to dry. Okay, and if you have gluey fingers, maybe press down from the other side so you don't leave any fingerprints. Okay, just like that. And then this one's gonna go here. Okay, so I found the little piece that was trying to hide a little foil piece that's going to go on this little topper. So that was, that was great. <laughs> it's always a bummer having to just cut out one little piece of something. I've done that many times you just kind of lose a small little piece. Not fun, but that's okay. All right. So a couple more to go here and then we got to Put this guy together, not difficult at all. Pretty small little piece, so it'll go quickly. But let's finish getting these panels in place. Again, make sure you keep a nice even border all the way around. I'm flipping this over because I know I have glue on my fingers right now and it may not feel like it, but this foil is not very forgiving when it comes to blemishes. And um, I know some of you have been able to clean your foil off after getting a little bit of glue on there or whatnot, but I, I feel like it never looks the same after you get something on there and, and try to clean it off. So I try to avoid that whenever possible. Okay, that looks good. A few more to go. Okay. So actually, Cool thing about this, it's obviously a perfume shaped box and looking at the dimensions, uh, I think will actually hold a nice bottle of perfume. Uh, you can put a multitude of things inside of this box, but I think that's how we're going to uh, show it off, maybe with a little bottle of perfume. There we go, a couple more to go, three more to go actually. And this will be very simple to assemble. Just a handful of little tabs to connect the sides together. Again, make sure you've got it nice and even, nice and aligned, just like that. And I feel like we're kind of on the home stretch here. Not much left to do. The bulk of this is, is done. Um, so again, very versatile piece especially because, and that's what we've been trying to do lately when we're creating these. One of my main focuses that I tell Diane all the time is, well, let's, you know, let's try to make this as versatile as possible. Uh, so the little caption on the front obviously is not 
uh, it's not so integrated into the piece that it can't be adjusted or modified so that you can use it for something else because this would be great for uh, maybe a bachelorette party uh, or a bachelorette gift you know it could be even a shower birthday or just because you know whatever you want to give a cool gift for all right so those are all in place now and again it's just a matter of taking and we're going to start here with this little tab and let's throw some glue on that tab mm -hmm. now be careful as you're spreading that glue out Keep your, try to keep your fingers clear of glue so that we don't blemish the surface of this foil. All right, so that, as you can see, is going pretty quick. Just go easy on the glue here. You don't need to cake it on. It's a very small, delicate little piece. It does not require a ton of glue. Grab that next section, line it up, give it a quick press. It's about the size of my, these tabs are about the size of my thumb, which means that one or two little presses is all you should need. Okay, there we go. Grab the next section, bring it down, line it up, and give it a quick press, especially down here at the bottom. Beautiful. All right, let's head over to this side real quick and get some glue on this tab. There we go. Pop that in there. Get that lined up. I've got a little bit of a kind of a bunched up bit of paper that was preventing it from lining up correctly. Beautiful. There we go. Next one. And you can see how quickly this little piece goes together. It looks all crazy and sophisticated, but it's really not. We'll tuck that behind. Line that up and quick press. It's not completely dry, but with just the right amount of glue, you should be able to get it to pretty much stay in place with minimal effort. Should not take that long, basically is what I'm saying. Just take a few seconds. So we're really pushing that glue into the little fibers of the paper and it is really holding nicely for us. Okay, so now we're over here. Throw a little bit of glue on there. There we go. Okay, tuck that in. We can kind of pull this back a little bit. And push, oh, I did not fold that part. It's okay. Line that up as accurately as you can. There we go. Wonderful. All right, now we have one more little tab in there, and I would not recommend trying to get your glue nozzle in there. So grab a scrap piece of paper, and I'm going to pull that down and just paint a little bit of glue right onto that tab. There we go. And press that up against the inside of this long section. Make sure it's nice and lined up. And press and hold, and there you have it. Okay, pretty much done, almost. Almost done. Okay, wonderful. So now we can, oops. Oh boy, see that? Had a little bit of glue on my finger. It's okay. All right, we'll pull that down. And now we're gonna close this up like this. We need to apply glue to these remaining tabs. Just be very careful. You know, this time around it might have been maybe a better idea. I know that I like to put flat pieces on things while they're flat, if possible. Okay. Got glue on all of them. Bring this down. Focus on getting it aligned with this section first, the side opposite of the side where it's already hinged. And then work your way around the rest of the perimeter. There we go. Press that down and just hold that in place for a few moments while it sets. Okay, just keep holding that. There we go. Okay, so now 
Uh, this piece here, we need to assemble this. This is very simple. We'll just take and apply glue to this one tab here, this little gold element. And now we're gluing foil to itself, which is another fun process. Okay, I'm actually going to lay this down flat just to get those two sections glued together like that. Just creating like a little box, I guess you could say, an open box on top. All right, so these tabs here, these tabs on the bottom, we're going to use in just a moment, but we're going to flip this over like this. It's going to go on like that. And then we need to take and glue these tabs to the inside of these walls here. Okay, so I'm going to start by anchoring it to one side. So just go easy on the glue here. It's nice and easy. Pop this piece in there. Make sure all the tabs are inside the little box. And then if you need to use a little dowel or something, you can to help push that up against the side of this. Make sure you keep this nice and flush up against this gold piece. Make sure it's all the way flush with the bottom of this surface. I've got that one tab glued in place. I'm going to go over to the other side. Just flip that tab down and throw a very light amount of glue on that. You can take that and push that up against the inside of this piece. I'm going to use my finger though, just so I can really feel it. And as I'm gluing it to the side, I'm kind of pushing it down just to make sure that it stays flush with the surface here. Okay, so that's working out nicely. And that just leaves two more tabs. There's one here on this side and then one here on this side. You can see those two tabs there. Just throw a tiny bit of glue onto those two tabs and then just take and press those up against the inside of these two sides. Just like that. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's take a look at this and let's decide which side looks the best, which side is going to be our front. I think that's going to be our front. Okay, so next, what we're going to do to anchor this is we need to take and I'm going to take these little tabs and bring them in together, pop them through this little hole here. This is going to be your front. So again, find the side that looks the best, make that your front. This is going to be my front. And we're going to do kind of the same thing here. We're going to take and glue these tabs to the underside of this piece. All right, so I'm doing gold foil up against some cardstock here. Press that down into place like so. There we go. That seems to be holding well. Go to the other side, throw a little glue on there. Press that up against the inside of this piece. You can actually put this down flat too at this point and push down like that if you want. Use your table for some additional leverage. There we go. And now we've got two more little tabs and it's just going to hold this in place for us. Fold those over, press them up against the inside and there's that. Very simple. Okay, so now what we're going to do, actually we can go ahead and take and we're going to bring these two things, two sections together. Okay, we're going to use a Velcro dot to kind of keep this closed. I'll show you how that works in just a moment. But what we need to do here, you can see this little piece is going to act as the little hinge mechanism. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and glue one half of this down. Okay, you want to make sure that this is your back, this is the opening. You want to make sure that the fold is right here so the other half of the box can go up against this section here. So what we're going to do is apply glue to the entire bottom of this. And I'm going to spread that glue out to the very edge. I want this to look nice and seamless all the way around. There we go. Good consistency. I could feel it. And let's pop that into place. Should be flush with the outside here as well as the sides. Press that down. You can press from the inside. You can actually put this down on your surface too if necessary. Make sure it's nice and straight. 
Mine was off a tiny bit. That looks good. Okay, and just keep pressing that down along the inside. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look at where the where the fold is. It looks good. All right, so now I'm gonna take the other half of this. Now remember to keep this up at the top. We're gonna to apply glue to the bottom of this, just like we did on the first half. And we're gonna glue it right on top of the other half of that little, little hinge mechanism that we have devised there. Spread that glue out nice and thin out to the edges. And I need a little more right here. Pull some of that glue from over there. There we go. Okay, what I would do is just kind of set this up and bring this in as far as it'll go so that the box itself is nice and aligned and nice and flush. Okay, and then can flip it over and push down. That was a little bit off. Again, just make sure it's all the way touching on all the sides here. There we go. And once we, there we go, perfect. Okay, and you can just kind of press around. There we go, okay. There we go. Okay, so you can see here on the inside, I have a little bit of a gap, and that's okay. We'll just take and put some glue on a scrap piece of paper. This is because I was impatient and I didn't let it completely dry. So I'm just gonna go in here and paint a little extra glue right there. And just kind of press and hold that together for a few extra seconds to make sure that it is completely dry. In the meantime, you can see that I've got one half of the Velcro dot in place already. I don't wanna mess with that just yet. Okay, so we've got that done. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab this piece here, and this is gonna go on first, okay? So remember, this is the back, the side that has these. And remember on the back, we had that little B and we also had some little markers to help with the positioning of this piece because we're gonna glue this down right here. And you can tell right on the fold here is where it's going to kind of terminate. So let's get that part glued down first. We only need to put glue on that section actually. So it's just this back section that needs glue. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna fold it over like this so that I can get glue out to the very edge of this entire piece as well as down to the bottom. Okay, and I'm gonna sp spread that glue out to the very edge there. I'll flip that back over, and we need to find the little markers there to help you, and honestly, that's more for centering rather than positioning, because we wanna make sure that now we can fold this over like so. Okay, so just continue pressing that down, make sure it's making good contact throughout like so. This is gonna go all the way over up to the front. Okay, and this is where your little Velcro dot's gonna come in handy. So definitely get your hands on some of these. We use them quite a bit on a variety of different projects. Let's peel off the backing on one side and you can maybe do even two Velcro dots if you want. Get that one in place. This is gonna kinda of hold this in place for us. Get the other one off of the backing. Okay, and we'll take this, make sure it's nice and flush on top, holding everything nice and closed. I'm using the word nice a lot today. There we go. Okay, so the Velcro dot ended up here, and that's gonna keep that in place for us. You can see this thing's really coming together now. And all that's left to do now is we need to glue this piece on like so, and actually, I just realized that I didn't ink this one section here. 
This is gonna go, we can actually glue this on now. That's gonna go right there, so we can glue that in place. So go ahead and flip that around. And let's get that glued down. Right onto this guy here. There we go. Flip that over, press down. There we go. Okay. And let me just hit this with a little bit of ink. Many of you have adapted inking as part of your crafting, which is awesome. Great to hear. Some of you, when you first start, you're a little hesitant because it seems a little intimidating, but it's really not. And I, I think I've said this in each of the other videos that I've done for this bundle because I think uh, there's a handful of times where I forgot to ink some things. So I just brought it out during the video. And if you're hesitant, don't be because you can always just practice on some scrap paper. And if it doesn't look right, you don't have to worry about it because it's not going on your project and you keep practicing on that scrap paper until you get it. And that's really all it is. I'm just taking, applying some ink to my applicator and just very gently brushing on the surface, getting those, getting those edges as well. And that really just helps kind of blend things and breaks up the abrupt, I guess you could say, um, the abrupt change that occurs when you have these colors together. Okay, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to take and just like we did before, I'm going to peel that back so that I can get glue all the way out to the very edge of this section as well as down to the bottom. Let's spread that glue up to the top like so. And that's going to go right here. Use that little, uh, use the fold as your guide. Make sure you've got it centered. Mine's a little bit off. Just a tiny bit. That'll work. Press that down into place. Okay, you can see. Perfect. Make sure that's sitting nice. Okay, next. We're going to apply some glue to this part here. Just like that. Bring that down. Should already pretty much be centered for you. Press that into place. There we go. And then finally, you can see that we've got that lined up perfectly. Peel this back, apply glue to this entire section, and we'll get that glued into place. So all that's left to do for you at this point is, uh, and we just, I think we just went to, uh, went to Michael's or Joanne's and just got some cool gold chain. I don't know if you guys have any experience working with jewelry. I really don't, but it seems pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Let's get that lined up and pressed into place. There we have it. There we go. Wonderful. And there it is. Okay, so it's going to open up like this, like that. Let's close like that. And um, you can make the you can make the chain as long or as short as you'd like. That's totally up to you. And you're going to need a nice little chain. And then also these little guys here to connect the chain. And actually, you know what? I think uh, with this, this is broken apart. So if you just take some pliers and open it up, pop it right on there, uh, that one might be, yeah, I think I'm, I, I may not even need these. Just go straight onto this with the chain, but that's it guys. That's going to do it. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please visit us on our YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the little bell so you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our new Mother's Day bundle, 
I'd love to see it and so would the rest of our community. So head over to Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Official. That's where you'll find myself and over 40,000 other dreamers that uh, inspire us daily. So anyway, I had a blast. I hope you did too. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos. And also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.